Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you what is the minimum size of the column we need to consider before construction of a multi-story building. So before construction of any kind of the building like G plus 1 building or G plus 2 building, G plus 3 building or any type of the building, just we need to concentrate on the minimum size of the column. So this is one of the most important topic for the civil engineers. Uh, everyone wants to know what is the minimum size of the column that we need to consider for the different types of floors. So in this video, I will explain you minimum size of the column for uh, first story to 10th story. So as per my personal experience, this is not exact value or accurate value. So as per my personal experience, I am explaining this respected uh, column sizes. Before going to the concept of this respected video, initially I will explain you what is the definition of the column. Column is a vertical member of a building. Generally, it will transfer the load from beam section to the foundation level. Whatever the load like dead load, live load, floor load or earthquake load, it will directly transfer from beam section to the foundation level. So this is the duty of the column in building structure. So for example, let us consider this is my beam section, this is my column section. So whatever the load which comes from the slab section like dead load condition or live load condition or seismic loading condition or wind loading condition, whatever the load which comes to the slab section or wall section or beam section which is directly transferred to the respected column section here to the foundation level. Generally column size will be depending upon the loading condition which is comes to the structure. So which is the combination of your respected load, load cases like dead load condition, live load condition, earthquake loading condition or wind loading condition or combination of this respected load. Whatever the load which is comes to the structure that will be depend upon your respected column size also. So if you are observe high intensity of the loading condition for the respected column. So we need to consider higher size of the column dimensions. So as per IAS code it was suggested that the minimum column size should be 9 inches cross 9 inches. We need to consider 2.54 centimeter for 1 inch 25.4 multiplied by your 9 inches which will give you the 225 mm for the respected column size which is approximately equal to 230 mm cross 230 mm which is equal to 0 0.23 cross 0.23 meter so we need to consider minimum size of the column is 230 mm cross 230 mm for construction of any kind of the building as per IAS code it was clearly mentioned that the column size which is less than 9 inches should not consider for designing so it was suggested that respected point also so as per the IAS code it was also suggested that this respected column size of 9 inches cross 9 inches is only applicable for ground story buildings so if you want to construct any one of the building which is a ground story case we need to consider only the column size of 9 inches cross 9 inches it is also suggested that if you construct any one of the building which is of one and of story we need to consider the column size as 12 inches cross 9 inches so this is the minimum value for the respected column size we need to construct uh, any one of the building which is having one and of story we need to take the column size as 12 inches cross 9 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 230 mm for the respected column size so this is the recommendations for, as per the IS code now I will explain you what is the minimum size of the column we need to consider for uh, ground story building or G plus 1 building G plus 2 building G plus 3 building G plus 4 building so this is my only personal experience not accurate values these values I will consider for my designing of any kind of models so this is my only personal experience not accurate values so now I will explain you what is the different types of this respected column sizes for different stories please follow the left hand side screen also it will be consisting of type of building column size in inches and column size in mm first one is ground story so if you are only want to construct only ground story building you need to consider 9 inches cross 9 inches which is approximately equal to 230 mm cross 230 mm for the respected ground story case only so after that second one is my first story so if you want to construct any one of the building which is related to your G plus 1 building we need to consider that column size should be 9 inches cross 12 inches or 12 inches cross 9 inches this is also one of the most preferable size of the column for the respected G plus 1 building which is approximately equal to 230 mm cross 300 mm for the respected G plus 1 building third one is G plus 2 building for construction of any one of the building which is related to your G plus 2 building we need to consider the column sizes 12 inches cross 12 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 300 mm for the respected G plus 2 building so this is my third one fourth one is G plus 3 building so if you want to construct any one of the building which is related to your G plus 3 building we need to consider the column size of 12 inches cross 14 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 380 mm for the respected column size so if you want to 
construct this respected G plus 3 building like uh, uh, G plus 2 story building with uh, penthouse case we need to consider minimum size of 12 inches cross 14 inches at the ground story and for the first story and the second story we need to consider 12 inches cross 12 inches so this is only optional part uh, as per the economic point of view so another story is our penthouse we need to concentrate on 9 inches cross and 9 inches for the respected penthouse case so this is the explanation for the G plus 3 building fifth one is G plus 4 building if you want to construct any one of the G plus 4 building we need to consider column size as 12 inches cross 18 inches which is approximately equal to 300 mm cross 380 mm for construction of your G plus 4 building my next one is G plus Y building if you want to construct any one of the building which is related to your G plus Y we need to consider column size of 14 inches cross 18 inches which is approximately equal to 380 mm cross 450 mm for the respected G plus Y building so this is my sixth one Seventh one is G plus 6 building. So if you want to construct any one of the G plus 6 building, we need to concentrate on column size, which is approximately equal to 18 inches cross 18 inches, which is uh, equals to 450 mm cross 450 mm. So this is the column size, minimum column size for the respected G plus 6 building. Next one is G plus 7 building. So this is my eighth one. So if you construct any one of the building which is related to your G plus 7, we need to take the minimum column size of 21 inches cross 21 inches, which is approximately equal to 530 mm cross 530 mm for the respected column size for G plus 7 building. My ninth one is G plus 8 story building. So if you want to construct any one of the G plus 8 story building, we need to concentrate on 24 inches cross 24 inches, which is approximately equal to 600 mm cross 600 mm. So this is the column size which is related to your G plus 8 story building, ninth one. So my last one is 10 story building. If you want to construct any one of the 10 story building, which is nothing but your G plus 9 building. So we need to consider the column size of 28 inches cross 28 inches which is approximately equal to your 700 cross 700 mm for the respected column size so these column size are my personal experience so this is not exact values or accurate values so i will consider this respected column size for my respected designs for g plus 1 or g plus 2 building so this is my explanation for what is the minimum size of the column we need to consider for multi-story building thank you